In special relativity, we measure speeds in special relativity units, that is, as a fraction of the speed of light. So um, muons created in the atmosphere um, from high energy particles, high energy collisions, they're going really fast at a significant fraction of the speed of light. Um, these guys zipping around the solar system in imaginary spaceships, those, they're going at um, close to the speed of light. So those might be speeds in SR units of 0.9 or 0.99 or 0.95 or something. But in the, um, so the universe of our everyday experience, we don't encounter a lot of stuff that's going um, even close to the speed of light. And so that means that V, speed, in SR units is often a very, very small number. It's very, very close to zero. And that can pose um, a little bit of a, a challenge, awkwardness, when working with some formulas, particularly the proper time formula, as we kind of saw in the last example. We've got a really small speed v. We square it, it gets even smaller, closer to zero. One minus that gets something that's very, very close to one. And it's just clumsy to work with, lots and lots of digits on the calculator. So what we're going to do in this unit is um, I'm going to very quickly introduce a super useful approximation um, called the binomial approximation that's handy in special relativity and all sorts of other applications in math and science. I won't derive it um, in any detail, um, but I'll say what it is and give you a quick example of how to use it. And then we'll use it later in this unit and later in the course in special relativity. So here's the binomial approximation. It says, suppose we have an expression like this. This is a binomial, something plus something, in this case, one plus x, and it's raised to the a power. So it turns out that that's very well approximated by um, this much simpler thing, one plus ax. And this is a good approximation only if x is much less than 1. This is a mathematical symbol, uh, two um, less than uh, signs right next to each other. It means much less than 1. So um, let me illustrate this with a quick example. Um, all right, so let's say we happen to have 1 plus... 0.03 squared. All right, so um, let's do this two ways. First, let's use the binomial approximation. So we identify a and 2, and then playing the role of x is 0 0.03. So this is going to look like 1 plus a is 2, and x is 0.03. So let's do that. 2 times 0.03. That's 0 0.06. Probably could have done all of this without a calculator. So this is 1.06. And just to write out what I did, I said a is 2 and x is 0.03. All right, so that's an approximate value for this. I could also just do this directly on a calculator. 1.03 square it, and I get 1.0609. So the exact value. Um, is 1.0609. So this is a pretty good approximation. Um, we get um, well within a percent um, without having to do this squaring business. Um, let's see. Let me mention just a tiny bit geometrically about where this um, function comes from. So 1 plus x squared. Let's, let's just think about that. 1 plus x squared. So let's, if I were to graph this function, that's going to look, I'll do this in a different color. So this is going to be a parabola, but when x is um, 0, 
I still have one. So this is going to look something like this. And um, label my axes. On this axis is 1 plus x squared. On this is x. And so this is a parabola. This is a linear function. Right? x is not raised to a power. Um, and so the idea here is if we're interested in just very small x values. I'm not really interested in this part here. I'm interested in what's happening really right in close. So we could zoom in really close for really small x. Uh, there it is. And in that region, the blue line looks very, very much like a straight line. So the blue, the blue curve, right? This is a curve. But if you zoom in, it looks like a straight line. And we can figure out the slope of that line. And that's what um, calculus one, differential calculus, is good at, is figuring out the slopes of curves. We do by zooming in. We do it by zooming in, figuring out the slope um, of the line. And so we can imagine maybe that the blue curve is very well approximated by this purplish line. And so that. Um, that ap approximation, if you do that out, the algebra and calculus, is what gives you this. You're ba we're basically saying, all right, let's just pretend that this is a line. So let me do one more numerical example to convince you of the utility of the binomial approximation. Because maybe you weren't impressed by this. And maybe you said, oh, yeah, but these are um, a little bit different, and it's not hard to enter this in on a calculator anyway, so what's the big deal? So let's imagine that x, instead of being 0 0.03, which is um, smaller than 1, let's do something that's really, really small. So I'll do that here. So let's say that we have um, 1 plus uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 6 squared. All right, so that's going to be equal to 1 plus ax. a is 2, x is this. 1 plus 2x, 3 times 10 to the minus 6, like so. So that's going to be, let's see, so this is going to be 6. 2 times 3 is 6. It's going to be 1 plus... 6 times 10 to the minus 6. And that is, I'm going to do it on a calculator because I, so I don't miscount zeros. Um, 6e minus 6 plus 1 equals 1.0000000006. Okay, so that's using the binomial approximation. I could also do an exact value. I would just evaluate that directly on a calculator. 3 times 10 to the minus 6 plus 1 square it. And my calculator tells me um, the exact same thing. 1.0000006. 1 1.0000006. 1 so, um, probably are a couple of, um, there may be a couple extra digits here, but basically the idea is that the calculator can't tell the difference between these, between these two, between these, this approximate form and then the exact form. So um, in special relativity, for x, we'll often have a v, a speed expressed as a fraction of the speed of light. And um, in that case, these numbers are going to be really small if we're dealing with speeds from everyday experience things that aren't even close to the speed of light, in which case this becomes um, an exact form. And this turns out to just be a lot easier to work with. Okay, one last thing I just want to mention. I'll use a different color, I guess. Um, and that is uh, how to deal with square roots. So we have 1 minus v squared square root appearing in our proper time formula. The key thing here is to remember that square root is the same as the half power. 
So in that case, um, playing the role of A is a half. The minus just sticks around. This is going to be roughly 1 minus a half V squared. So this is how we'll use a binomial approximation in a proper time calculation. And the quiz that follows this video will have you do exactly that.